Hey everybody, this is going to be a review and test of the HO Scale Atherin Genesis GP40-2LW. This model comes equipped with DCC and sound from the factory. So just like all my other reviews, we'll have a look at some of the detail on the model. We'll put it on the scale and weigh it. We'll have a look at the uh, sound and the lighting and then we'll just wrap it all up. So let's get started with a look at some of the detail on this model. Okay guys, now that we've had a look at the uh, detail and the lighting and some of the sounds, let's put it on the scale and see how much this model weighs. Three hundred and ninety-seven grams. That's fourteen ounces dead even. The heaviest locomotive I've weighed during these tests is a Caddo SD ninety forty-three Mac, which weighed. 618 grams and the lightest locomotive I've weighed is the Intermountain SD40-2W which weighed in at 373 grams so this is slightly heavier than that but it's uh, it's not bad because this is a smaller locomotive so let's move on and test the uh, jar bar push pull on this engine so for those of you who've followed along with me doing these reviews you know that I always do three pull tests and take the average of it so I'll do three pull tests take the average give us an average draw bar pull and then I'll do three push tests and we'll take an average of that to give us the uh, draw bar push capabilities of this locomotive That one looked like 50. We'll try again. We got 60 that time. So one more. And 60 again. So that gives us an average draw bar pull of 56.66 grams. That's 1.99 ounces. So that's uh, the lowest draw bar pull capability I've ever uh, recorded during these tests. But this is also the first uh, four axle locomotive, so obviously that's why it has less pulling capability. So let's flip it around and do the push test.
So we saw 55 there. Run it again. Another 55. And 55 again. So that's dead on the money. Three tests, 55 grams of drawbar push each time. That is 1.94 ounces. So again, we're on the low end, but this is a four axle locomotive, so they expect uh, quite a bit less capabilities when it comes to what it can pull or, and or push. So let's go back down to uh, track level and just have a quick talk about the sound and lighting on this model. Okay guys, so at the risk of sounding like a broken record uh, when I review these Soundtrack Tsunami uh, equipped locomotives, uh, the sound is good on them, especially this small engine. For the, the amount of space they'd have to put a speaker in here, it's pretty good. And the sounds that you are hearing are the tuning that I do with JMRI after I get them. I always turn the prime mover down uh, quite a bit and then turn like the horn and the bell and stuff like that up. And I also use the equalizer to crank the low end all, all the way up on the 8-channel uh, EQ or wherever it is. So the sound is really good. I'm not going to... Uh, say much more on it. Everybody's heard it's got the 645 prime mover in it. Sounds great. You just turn that prime mover down a little bit and uh, for me personally that's the way I like them and I think they sound really good. As far as lighting goes it's always the same thing I say when we're doing these Atherin Genesis models. They use the incandescent bulbs and I got nothing against the look of them. I think they look alright but what I don't like is that they're gonna burn out it's just inevitable. They're gonna burn out and you'll have to take the model apart and replace them with LEDs. So if they put LEDs in these models this would be pretty close to being perfect. There wouldn't be many things you could knock on it. So wrapping it up, I gave the detail on this model a 9 out of 10. It's fantastic. You got sand lines, you got speed recorder, all sorts of hoses, wipers, you name it. It looks great. So 9 out of 10 for detail. For operation and drivetrain I gave it an eight and a half out of ten. Like for what it weighs, being heavier than an Intermountain SD40-2W with uh, with six axles, it's uh, pretty impressive that they actually managed to cram another 25 grams into this thing. So weight is really good. I gave that an 8.5 out of 10. As far as operation and drivetrain goes, I gave it an 8.5. It's got a good slow speed and it's a uh, it's a good runner. It's still not a Caddo, it doesn't have a slow speed like a Caddo, but uh, it's good. So 8.5 out of 10 for that. Sound, it's got the Soundtrack Tsunami, so you can go in there and, and tweak it a bit and get the sounds the way you like them. So for that I give it an 8.5 out of 10. As well as for the lack of room in this little tiny engine, they've done a pretty good job. And the last uh, thing on my list is lighting, and I gave it a 6 out of 10, only because they're using incandescents and they're going to burn out eventually. Other than that, this is a fantastic model. Overall, I gave it an 8.1 out of 10, which is a very high score. And like I say, if they uh, put LEDs in this thing and did a pretty good job with them, it would be like a home run. So that's my review, guys. 8.1 out of 10 for the Atherin Genesis GP40-2LW. Thanks again for watching the review, and I'll see you guys next time.